Hello, welcome to a new Lightroom edit video. In this video, I'm going to show you the editing steps on this image of model Tatiana. We're going to look at um, softening the edges, um, turning them white, skin softening, and also how to create a desaturated look. Hello, I'm Ian M. Butterfield and welcome to another one of uh, my Lightroom edit videos. And, uh, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and that click that all important bell so you get notifications of when new videos are available. Right, let's dive into the edit here. Uh, the, the image we're going to work on is this uh, photograph of Tatiana. She came to the studio a few weeks ago for uh, one of my workshops. And this is one of the images and I'm, I'm happy with it uh, as it is, but I think we can go that one stage further with a little bit of Lightroom work on it. So first of all, looking at the image, uh, there's a few things I want to, uh, to check. Now, when I'm working in the studio, I always set the white balance to flash in camera. So that is the, uh, the correct white balance. However, I do know that what the camera thinks is flash white balance and what Lightroom thinks is fl flash white balance are slightly different. So let's just have a look at what uh, Lightroom thinks. And you can see there's a slight shift there. Um, it's a slightly warmer tone. It's not much in it, but uh, there is that slight shift there. And let me just go back to the as shot. It's slightly cooler. I think I will go with the uh, flash white balance within Lightroom on here. So next, I want to look at lens corrections. If I come down, and I want to enable profile corrections. And I put that on. In actual fact, it's not made much of a difference on this one, but it's always good to have the, uh, the profile corrections in there. I'll enable chromatic aberration. If it knows of any, it can remove that as well. So that's done. Now back up in the basic tab, what am I going to do with this? Well, I want to bring out some of the detail in her basque. Uh, and uh, some of the detail in the hair, which is hidden a little bit in the shadows there. So I'm just going to bring the shadows up, bring them up to about 30, 31, that sort of area. Yeah, 30. So we can now see much clearer the, the detail in the basque, uh, like that. Uh, the sort of look I want to take with this is I want a slightly desaturated look. Uh, so I'm going to take the, the, um, the saturation quite a way down and I think to about minus 34, 35, that sort of area. You see it's, it's got this lovely uh, desaturated. I might do a little bit of a tweak on the vibrance as well. So we've got that. That's looking great. Now, uh, Tatiana's got great skin, uh, but I just want to show you the technique that I now use for skin softening, which is a lovely little technique using the, the texture slider. So if I bring the texture slider right down to mm, minus 65, 64, that sort of area, uh, you can see now that it's a really soft skin uh, that she's got. The problem we have though is that's also softened other things like the hair, uh, the eyes, and the uh, particularly uh, the basque. So we want to bring that detail back. And the way to do that is by using an adjustment brush. So if I go up here, the adjustment brush is the, uh, the final one, or it's the K key and reset all of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint back the texture that I've taken out. So I'm going to bring it up to, what did I, I, I take, took it out at uh, my 60, something like that. So I'll bring it up quite high into the 50s. And I'm going to add in just a little bit of fair uh, clarity as well. So maybe low 20s on that, perhaps a little bit higher, yeah low 20s on the texture. And I'm going to use a brush. Now, uh, with the brush, I want to make sure the flow is all the way up. 
feather, I want it fairly feathered uh, and fairly small. Now I'm going to, kind of, going to change the size of that as I work through this image. And you'll be able to see, let me start by just painting over the basque. And as I paint over the basque, you can see that detail coming back in on there. Now, I can see it on, the, on my screen. I hope you can on the video, how that detail just comes back. And if you want to see where I've painted, if I put the um, overlay mask on, which is the O key, you can see this uh, red area. I'm going to zoom in on her face because I want to get that detail uh, right. So hold down the shift key and zoom in. And with a fairly small brush, I'm just going to go over the eyebrows. And if I take the overlay off, you'll be able to see the difference that this makes. So um, if I just hold the space key, move along. If I do the other eyebrow, you'll see what I mean. You can see how that darkens it up, brings all that texture back. And over the eyes as well, just bring the eyes back in, the, the texture and the clarity on that. I tend to do just a little bit round the nose as well, and particularly round the lips. And you can see how that's, that's worked to bring that texture back. Uh, I also want to do the hair, so just bring a much larger brush. I'm using the scroll on the mouse to change the, uh, the size of the brush. And I can just start painting that back in. You can see how all that texture is now nicely coming back uh, on, the, on the image, round the hair. Again, shift um, space bar, and I can drag that around, find the sections I need to paint back uh, the texture. I'll have some texture back on the ear as well. That's looking nice. And finally, round this sort of area as well. Right round on the hair, the hair that's coming out the back there. And just a little bit on the hands as well. Just bring the texture in around the fingers on there. And zoom out. Now, down here on the uh, uh, the duvet that she was on and the rose petals are on here. I'd like to bring the texture in there, so I'm just going to paint that over just around some of these folds and round the edges, a little bit round here, just so that we've got that in. So we've now brought all that in on the, uh, on the image. The next thing, the final thing I want to do uh, on this image is I want to uh, so fade out the edges of the image. So again, I'm going to do that with a new um, adjustment uh, brush. So I go new, let's reset everything by double clicking on effect. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the exposure all the way up. I'm going to take the highlights all the way up, the shadows all the way up. And that's the brush I'm going to work with. However, what I am going to change is the flow. I'm just going to bring the flow right down to about 30%. And what that does, it means when I paint, I'm only painting a 30% of the effect in any one go. So I can build up the, um, uh, the, the whiteness in areas, so it's much easier to do. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got a, a a good feather, so at 100, and I'm going to work with a large brush. I want a really large brush. I'm going to do it, I'm using the mouse scroll to get, and generally for a lot of this, I'm just going to be working with the, um, the feather section of it as well. So I'm now just going to start painting along the bottom here, and you can see it's starting to lighten it up. And the more I paint over, the more that disappears. So I go along and you can see my cursor's right down because I just want this very slight fading out at the edges of it. And that's more or less got it. And if there's a little bit that's a bit much sticking out here that I don't like, I can create a smaller brush and just paint over that until it goes. And that just starts to fade it all out, fading round, softening it all out round here. And I would say that's just about 
how I want that image. Okay, so let's have a look at the before and after on this. So I'll just hit reset, which will take it back to how it originally was. So that's before, then I'll use Control Z to toggle back to uh, the finished version. Finished version, original version, finished version, original version. And hopefully you agree that that desaturated look is a nice effect for, uh, for this particular image. And uh, I hope you found the, the editing steps in this really useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified of future videos on the channel. And uh, until next time, keep making great photos. Thanks for watching.